I was flying in a Bell 206 L4 helicopter as part of my nationwide trip with my crew. We were out in Montana when unexpectedly we heard a loud rush of air coming in out of the blue. Travis, the camera operator in the back of the helicopter, reported that his side door had popped open and he was struggling to keep the door closed. Now I know that we secured this door before we left. It is something we always do before we take off. But here we were, miles away from the airport, and we had a door popped open. We needed to find somewhere to land the helicopter, and we needed to do it quickly. Thankfully, we were flying over a clear and dry section in the Missouri River, and within seconds, we were initiating a precautionary landing. As a relatively new pilot, this was the first time that I ever had any in-flight emergency requiring an off-airport landing. Of course, you practice this in flight school all the time, but having to do this in real life was a unique experience. After we landed, lead pilot Dennis stepped out of the helicopter and he secured the door. Back in the air, we continued through the most beautiful landscapes as you can see here. But the door wasn't finished being a pain. About 30 minutes after the camera stopped recording, boom, the door popped open again. Now, like a car door, a helicopter door has a dual locking mechanism. So even if the door pops open, the door should remain closed. Well, this wasn't exactly the case here. Our door was completely open. We were only minutes away from the destination airport for the day. And as luck would have it, we had scheduled maintenance for the helicopter in the morning. We were able to land the helicopter at the airport safely, and the mechanic was able to fix the door latch the following day. After this repair, we continued the rest of our flight without any issue. This was one of the primary reasons why, when I planned this nationwide trip, I wanted to have an experienced pilot flying along with me.